And hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we are checking out Octopussy, the next James Bond adventure as I go on the James Bond journey. There's only a few Roger Moore movies left. This is like the second last one or something like that, which is a shame because I am really enjoying Roger Moore's James Bond, but I am very excited to see who the next James Bond is and what they are going to do. But we are still on Roger Moore right now, so I'm really excited for this one. I've heard that this one is a very goofy movie after For Your Eyes Only, which was a very late back Roger Moore movie still goofy of course still goofy like they had like the hockey fight and the ski chases and stuff but not as goofy as things like Moonraker the spy who loved me and I've heard Octopussy is also goofy so it was like a nice little palate cleanser before getting back into goofy bond but yeah I've heard quite a bit about this one I don't know anything about the plot but I mean I just heard about the title because the title is very iconic but that's the only reason why I've heard a lot about this one also I now know that the guy who played M sadly passed away from cancer after the spy who loved me oh no after moonraker which is why he was not in for your eyes only so that was a real bummer when i heard about that because i would i wish they i wish i would i could have known or i would have known that moonraker was his last one because i would have done like a little farewell to him or something you know i would have I would have really appreciated his appearance in Moonraker. I was really looking forward to seeing him in For Your Eyes Only, and he wasn't there, and I was a little sad. So, yeah, I just thought I would make you guys all aware that I do know that now. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So let me turn on the light and we can decide what color it should be. Boop! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I think the color today, I'm going to go red because the whole poster is white except for the title which is in red and the lady's dress which is also in red and the lady has what looks like eight hands because she must be an octopus so I'm expecting a character to have eight hands in this movie <laughs> and if you'd like to check out more of my reactions you can head over to my patreon where I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early there are also two exclusive patreon movies a month that you guys on patreon get to choose so thank you so so much if you check it out now let's get back to the video okay it's time we get into this James Bond movie. I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to the Goofy Bond returning and it already looks goofy because there's a still frame of Roger Moore in like a, what do you call it? Like a flower necklace. I forget the term for it, but like a flower necklace. He's in that and you know, it looks like he's having a good time. It looks like I'm going to have a good time with this one. So anyways, I hope you enjoy my reaction to Octopussy. <laughs> Oh, we're going for a slower Bond. Okay. A slower score for the opening. James Bond is undercover as a horse. Oh, that's close. He's a man training a horse. Toro sounds like a load of bull. Gems. Ah, I was gonna say, where's the mustache? Keep the mustache, Roger. Continue. Oh, from the salute to a hit in the neck. Oh, it's a fake horse. What if it's like a giant bomb or something like that? Oh, not the chickens. Watch out, chickens. I'll see you in Miami. Where's he going? Is he going to get on the horse? Get on the horse! Get on the horse! What is it? 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 What the heck? It's a plane! There's a plane in the horse cart! <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! I can't believe what I watch right now. This is actually insane. Oh my god, fly through the hangar, fly through the hangar. Oh, that's so awesome, dude. Oh man, and he flies away from the explosion. Cool guys don't just walk away from explosions, they fly away from explosions. Fill her up, please. That was such a fun intro. Maud Adams. That name is so familiar. Why is that name so familiar? I don't want to waste a waking moment. I don't want to sleep. 
I really like this song. What is this song? This this woman has been getting swung around the entire intro. We got a clown on the run. I repeat, we got a clown on the run. Wow, this clown must have been really unfunny to deserve getting killed. Literally let go of your balloon. You don't need them. What are they gonna do? There's two of them! What the heck? I thought the guy teleported. Oh! Good throw, dude. You're definitely the better twin. Oh. An egg! An egg of destiny! Throw the hat! Ah. Well, I must say you become more beautiful every day. Ah, okay, thank God. I thought Money Penny wasn't going to be in here. S is Miss Penelope Smallbone my new assistant? Miss Smallbone? Nope, they better not be doing this to get rid of Money Penny in the next movie. Don't do it. It's no Money Penny. You know, there never has been, and there never will be anybody but you. So, so true, James Bond. So true. Anyway, we'd better find out what they're up to. Yes, Minister. Eyes only, 007. Ah, uh, for your eyes only. You'll be replacing 009. 009, what a lame name. Gogol is presumptuous. He speaks for himself and others who cling to timid. Oh my god, he really said timid with viciousness. There are 60 divisions, including 22 tank divisions. Wow, that's quite a bit. Five days against any possible defense scenario. This guy really wants to just rule the world. Let me remind you, heads, sit down. I wish to Both tell you. Of you. This guy really needs to just take a bubble bath and relax. Your incompetence will destroy us all. We'll have a replacement, mate. There is no time, Comrade General. They have just been. Make time. You shouldn't have to be here in person, you know. She would always be represented by proxy. I'll start it at 150,000 pounds. The guy holding the egg? Imagine if he dropped it. Ooh. 170. 108. Oh, that's definitely her. That's definitely her. You know, because the camera lingered on her. And 260,000 pounds? 280. 300,000 pounds. Oh, it's going. It's going so high. Any more? 425, new bit. What? 425? Oh my god, James Bond, where are you gonna get this money? It's 450,000 I have 475. Jesus Christ. There's a ruckus going on in this room right now. 500,000 pounds. I have half a. Wow, this is the most excitement all of these people have seen in their entire lives. Hey. That's what I intend to find out. James Bond is so good at his job. The Bond Street kiosk is that what that bookstore said? That's cool. Not pay. Here's the original. I switched it with the fake during the auction. Oh, that's why he took it behind the book. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, he's doing the Bond theme song. James Bond knows too. James Bond's like, hey, that's my song, buddy. What can you tell me about Kamal Khan? Exiled Afghan prince. Oh my god, we're actually seeing them drive through. I'm so glad it's not one of those weird green screen projection things. That's where Kamal lived, up there on the hill. The monsoon palace. It's heavily guarded. Wow, that is crazy. I would live there. That looks like an octopus on the flag. There's a white flag with an octopus. Mm. Yeah, there it is. I was right. Octopus. Kind of looks like Spectre. Ooh, wait. Wait, I never never connected the two. Is Spectre going to be in this? Because the uh, Spectre logo is also an octopus. Damn. Always a double six when you need it. Always. How do you do it? It's all in the wrist. It's called cheating. You have a very good memory for faces. And figures. 
Six and one, that should fit. Well, looks like the Major's got him. No, no, this is what he wants you to think. Not with your luck. You win. Well, I would have taken that double myself. Ah, oh, challenger approaches. I think that this should be ample security. Oh, wow, he pulled out the big guns. Or should I say the big egg? Player's privilege. And use your lucky dice. Oh my god, Bud is so good. Oh, you don't want to mess with this guy. It's not really on the wrist, you know. I've really enjoyed that sequence. I don't know why, it was just, it was very riveting. BJ, we have company. No problem, this is a company car. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Well, I never expected that. They're like, they're, oh my god, Ted is racketing him. What is that? A starfish made of knives? <laughs> it was edited like a Dennis game. That's so fun. Hang on, James. Oh, they just made a ramp for you. How beautiful. Over the camel. Well done, well done, well done. Oh, there's the flower thing that I saw. A lay. That's what it's called, right? A lay. Not the, oh, not the best place to fight someone. Oh, stab him. Oh my god, so dead. <laughs> that was a good move. What are these knives? Oh. 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 Do 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 Oh genius move dude This happened in Indiana Jones I think doesn't it Q Q Q Q Q Ah Q Ah let's go Q Oh yes knife in my wallet they missed you what a pity. <laughs> I love Seek him still. Up, I... I feel like he gets even more salty with every movie. Mm, that's amazing, Q. It does work. Mm. Yeah, of course it works. It's Q. Q. Thank you. Don't forget this. Thank you, VJ. Don't let him teach you any of his bad habits. VJ seems like he's just having the time of his life. He's just smiling in the background of every shot. As friends that I've come across. Thank you. Fair enough. Also, you may be wondering why the darkness just sort of happened. I was watching this movie, something came up, I won't get into the details. I was watching this movie about 3.30 p.m. and now it is 12.35 p.m. or a.m. I guess, 12.35 a.m. So something happened, I've been out a long time, I got back home and now I'm gonna finish this movie. So sorry about the whole change of scenery. I really, really like the music right now. It's so beautiful. Uh, it's all out, sir. Ah, an octopus! A blue ring octopus. That's my little octopus. She didn't have to say it like that. Whoa, she really like started to bite his lips or something. What is she of? Hyena? No, oh, don't even think about it. Oh, you know what? He wanted her to take it, didn't he? Oh, he's so smart. I totally forgot about that. Speak louder than words. You're so right. Ha! That is so cool. Oh my god, she's so cool. Egg has been recovered. <clears throat> you should be pleased. I'm not pleased. Oh, who is this? Is this the leader? Is this the Octopussy? Fabergé and Dice, uh, preferably loaded. His name is James Bond. Oh, license to kill and be killed.
Honestly, there are worse places for someone to just wake up after they've been knocked unconscious. Like, it seems like a fairly decent room. Ah, <laughs> he's like, don't even think about it. Well rested. I believe you and Miss Magda have met. Yeah, you, they really have. Well, supposing for argument's sake, I don't feel like talking. Well, don't worry, you will. Oh, nice. Your souffle is poison. Unfortunate side effect. Ah, one of our... Braun probably already has brain damage, so it probably wouldn't affect him too much. Stuffed sheep's head. Ah, uh, well, hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I'd eat that. Hmm. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd care for a nightcap? No, he's like, actually, I would. That's why I followed you to your room. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, it's the pen. It's the it's the acid pen. I forgot about that. Wow, is he actually sneaking into this room right now? Okay, I I thought he was gonna be sneaking out of his room just to go to her room. Ah. Uh... Okay, 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 we got some generals in the house, and he is in her room. He did end up in her room, so I guess I was half right. Hmm. I love the music, and I love the sneak in this. You know, I love how there's a lot of people that could see him, and especially there where he, like, crossed the room, and she's just in the, in the background doing her own thing. I don't know why, but I really like that. Okay, I thought someone was gonna jump out of this dark hallway. I was like, don't back up into a dark hallway. That's just a film trope right there waiting to happen. I get what I that is the biggest magnifying glass I've ever seen in my life. There must be no further security breach. Well, this your egg is already a... Oh! No way. No way. Oh, the guy's good. Ah, <laughs> I love this guy so much. Now she is so pretty. She is so pretty, this girl. He had to make that ghost sound, did he? Wow, he's got a whole town after him. And a tiger. He's got a whole town and a tiger. Oh, and spiders. He's got a whole town, tiger, and spiders after him. Oh my god. James Bond versus a tiger. Never thought I'd see it. He is the most surrounded someone has ever been surrounded in their lives. Oh, nice kick. How did he manage to get out of there? How did he manage to get out of there? There were thousands of people surrounding him. And he just said, one kick. <laughs> one kick and he's out of here. Oh. Or he just becomes Tarzan. Never thought I'd see the day where James Bond pretends to be Tarzan and actually goes, oh. <laughs> so funny. I'm fine. Are you with our group? No, ma'am. I'm with the economy tour. <laughs> What am I looking at right now? I was about to say that crocodile looks so fake, but it was meant to look fake. And why are those women dressed up as superheroes? Good evening. Oh, she's back. Wait, 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 wait. And you are James Bond. 007 license to kill. She's been in James Bond before. She has definitely been in James Bond before. What's the connection? He was my father. Oh, that is a connection, all right. Come in. Come on, come She dressing as like the Flash or something? What are these outfits? I liked that shot. I liked these shadows on his face. It really looked a little sinister. His pet name for me was Octopussy. That's a weird pet name. You don't want to make enemies with a woman. 
Now we will. <laughs> okay, you think you're cool? Oh, the circus. Just beginning to enjoy myself. The music again. The music right now is beautiful. Whoa, that looks like the most comfortable bed I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god, he really just started making out with her. Oh man, it's the music. It's the music that's getting me right now. The music is so good. If something happens to this guy, I'm going to be so mad. I'm now so mad. Why? He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. I'm even more mad now. I was so mad and now I'm so, so mad. Aha, James Bond saw you from a mile away. Do you get it? Do you get it? James. Oh. oh, nice move, nice move. No, 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 no. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, on the bed though, you had to throw him into the softest thing in the world. And you just left his saw there too. Nice, nice, nice. You're dead, son. The crocodile is about to decide, decide a winner and a loser. Why? Well, I have to go to a circus in Karl Markstadt. <laughs> she was like, why do you gotta go to the circus? Bond's just like, I want to, you know, I like the circus. <laughs> oh, it's one of the twins. And there's the other twin, okay. Ha! <laughs> so cool. You're gonna believe a man can fly. This man is Superman. Get this guy out of here. Go away. You know what James Bond has yet to do yet? Fight on top of a train. I know he does that in the Daniel Craig era, but in the movie so far, he's not fought on top of a train. Uh, that looks like a bomb. 100 kiloton yield. The effects are indistinguishable from the American medium yield bomb. Yeah, it is a bomb. It is a bomb. Ah, that's so good. Ah, knife to meet you, James Bond. Believe that, let's go. Let's stay. So oh, nice Bond. We'll rule out the possibility of that bomb having been launched from Russia or anywhere else. Ah, genius. It's too late. You can stop it at the border. Oh my god, that guy got shot in the head. All aboard to Hogwarts, all aboard. It looks like the Hogwarts train. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, they got smushed by the barrels. Wait, that's so sick. Wait, that's so sick. Uh, you're gonna need a new ride because you're not going anywhere in that. Oh. No way. No way. No way. No way. This never occurred to me at all. Follow that car. No way this is happening. No way he's driving a car in train tracks. Oh my god. I love James Bond when he does stuff like this. This is so much fun. Come on, jump off, jump off onto the train, please. This is gonna be so cool. Oh my god, he's standing on a car. Oh my god, you have to jump, you have to jump, you have to jump. 
Oh my god, that was so cool. And this guy's actually hanging onto a train that's moving. Oh my god, he's on top of a train. I wanted this to happen. I wanted this to happen. I wanted this to happen. This is so cool. No, no, no. Stay on top. Stay on top. Oh my god. How did he get into that suit? Ah, uh, yes, you deserve to die. You deserve to die. I really actually like how they're portraying the Soviet Union. They're not just portraying them as horrible, horrible people. I like that even though they are the villains in this movie, there's still like the good side to them as well. We must leave the base by 3.15. I take it, none of you will be late. We got four hours. We got four hours and counting. Yes, get on top of the train. Yes, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Oh, yes, I've always, I love it so much. I love it when people go on top of trains. Oh, good jump. Ah, oh, so cool. No, stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. This is actually an insane stunt. This is unbelievable. Like props to the stuntman for wanting to hang off of a train. Stay here with me. Ah, look at him run, look at him run, look at him run. Ah, look at him. Duck, you have to duck, you're on a bridge. Oh, never mind, it's a pretty big tunnel. Wow. I love this shot. Look at the lighting and the fog. It's so dramatic and epic and mysterious. Get on the train, get on the train. Or run away, that works too. Why not just kill him right there? You already had him pinned. For 009. Yeah, let's go, Bond, 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 Bond. Ah, oh, man. He's gonna cut it really close, isn't he? He's really having no luck at all right now. Nice. Now that police officer is driving backwards. Oh, no, he's skilled. He's a skilled driver. Oh, man. It's not looking good. I'd, I'd call it quits there. I'd be like, oh, we're probably going to die. It's not our day today. 34 minutes. No, come on, come on, come on. This guy is so American. Fantastic! Fantastic! Captain, some nut went through here in a stolen car. He's not some nut. Guys, listen to him. Five minutes? It took him half an hour to drive here. <laughs> That's him. Oh my god, there's another one wearing the same stuff. Sir, that bomb is set to explode at 3.45. That's 90 seconds from now. Not 90 seconds, are you kidding me? Oh, that's 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 hold it. Grab that. Hold it. Damn it. Let go. We need some help. Listen to him. There's a bomb in there. You were hey, 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 hey. 14 seconds. He cut it a little close, don't you think? Where was Kamal going? Back to oh India. man, he actually didn't like, he, deact he didn't deactivate the timer, I guess. The timer went off, but he just pulled it out in time. That's what she said. Now please leave the tent in an orderly I love that moment, actually. He was like, you could hear the desperation in James Bond's voice, and you don't hear that that often. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't, I can't deal with their suits. Their suits are so funny. Wait, that's so sick. Wait, that is so sick. Um, we're partners, we're friends, Octopussy. I would never do anything. Shoot him in the face. You left me to be killed along with thousands of innocent people. Shoot him before the guy gets back. We can make millions. 
<laughs> oh, Octopus, you waited way too long. Why, why are these guys fighting? Oh my god, look at that balloon. Sorry, I don't even care about the guys using guns as swords anymore. Oh my god, what the heck, trapeze artist over here. Like, why are they using their guns as swords? Just shoot her. Where you going? Don't be an idiot, 007, come back. Be an idiot, be an idiot. Oh, nice. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> How awesome was that? I never knew I needed that in my life. Yes, Q. Yes, Q. Hero, man of the hour. Come on, on Shadowfax. Ride like the wind. No way, this is so cool. No way, this is so cool. No way. No way, someone is actually. No way. Someone is actually doing this. This is like the Tom Cruise stunt in Mission Impossible 4. No way, this is actually happening right now. This is someone on the back of a plane. What am I watching right now? This movie has some of the most insane stunts I've seen. No way. Oh my god, no way, no way, no way. These shots where the camera is rooted to the plane. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. I actually don't believe what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> oh my god, I wanted a I wanted a roof of a train fight, but I'm getting a roof of a plane fight. This is so cool. This is someone actually falling now. That was someone actually falling. And this is someone still on the roof of a plane. I still it's just unbelievable to me. Haha, <laughs> he's getting in the he's getting in the plane from the roof and I was like, oh my god. I feel like a kid. I feel like I'm six years old. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Don't drop her, don't drop her. Nice. Nice, 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 but this is still not nice. After travel. In, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. I wonder what that means. Oh, oh, He's like, ha ha, faked you out, son. Can you imagine he actually has a broken leg? He's like, this is really painful, but I'm gonna do it for you. And that was my reaction to Octopussy, the 1983 action spy James Bond film starring Roger Moore, Maude Adams, who was in The Man with the Golden Gun, so I was right, I did recognize her, Christina Wayborn, Louis Jordan, and Kabar Beatty. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for all of the different lighting scenarios in this movie. We got one at like 3 p.m. and then I had to go, there was something that happened, so I had to leave the reaction, I had to pause it about 42 minutes into the movie. I got back, at 12 30 a.m finished the movie at 2 a.m and then i was like i'm not gonna do a review at 2 a.m i'm just too tired so i'm gonna i went to sleep and now it is 11 03 a.m so we get like all the different times of the day in this reaction so sorry about all the lighting changes and stuff it just had to happen for this reaction but yeah i was looking at some of the reviews last night when i was going to bed and it seems like people don't like this movie and looking at the audience reviews and rotten tomato scores as well it seems like this is a very low rated this is probably the lowest rated bond movie that i've seen so far but i really enjoyed this movie i don't really understand all of the hate towards this movie all of the dislike towards this movie i understand that the plot is very weird and the eggs don't really make any sense but like this movie was so much fun and it had some insane insane action sequences the train sequence i thought was brilliant but i thought that plane sequence at the end where he's hanging off of the roof of a plane and someone is actually hanging off of the roof of a plane and hanging hanging off of the side of a plane and we get these beautiful wide angles of it or we get these beautiful angles of the camera mounted onto the plane and we are right, right there with whoever this stuntman, this brave stuntman, whoever is on the plane and we can see how far away the ground is and stuff like some thrilling, thrilling action. I thought the villains were really fun in this movie. I thought the setting was really cool. So like overall, I had a really good time with this James Bond film and I'm kind of having a hard time seeing all of the hate. It was nice to see 
see Q and Money Penny back as well. Obviously, M was not in this movie because he sadly passed away of cancer like two movies ago now. But it was nice to see Q and M in this movie. Q had a very big role in this movie, actually, which is something that I did not think was going to happen. Usually, he's in the movie for about two minutes. He goes, "This is a gadget," and then he says like some funny line about how James Bond always messes things up and stuff like that. And then you know he's not in the movie anymore. But he was actually in the movie for a fair portion of it, which kind of makes me wonder if this was his last movie and this was like a hurrah to Q, you know, like to Desmond to Desmond Llewellyn, just like, okay, this is his last movie, so we're gonna give him some more screen time. I hope that's not the case, but I, I was kind of thinking that during the movie and it kind of made me a little sad. And also Money Penny, she got a new assistant, and so I'm like, please don't make this new assistant to like to like bring out Money Penny because this is Lois Maxwell's last movie. I really hope it isn't, but like the bringing bringing in the assistant made me very, very worried. Yeah, I'm gonna get into the audience reviews and the critic scores now, and then I'm gonna get into the really good score. I thought the score in this movie was excellent. And then I'm gonna get into the action and stuff like that, and just kind of the general stuff that I really enjoyed about this film. So 6.5 out of 10 on IMDb and 43% on Rotten Tomatoes. So honestly, I think this is the worst Rotten Tomatoes score a James Bond movie has had, and 6.5 out of 10 is one of the lowest audience scores that this movie has had, but again, I don't really understand it. I had a blast with this movie. I think, yes, there were definitely moments that were a little nonsensical that didn't really make any sense. The egg plot, like if the egg wasn't in there at all, the movie would probably still be the same. The bomb didn't really make too much sense overall. Like it was a little confusing why the bomb was in this movie in the first place. Like the, if you're looking at this movie from a very like critical standpoint, the movie is not a great movie movie but if you're looking at it the way I looked at it from a very fun James Bond movie I thought this movie was just a lot of fun and you know I didn't really care that the plot was a little bit nonsensical because a lot of James Bond movies plots are a little bit nonsensical that's what makes some fun James Bond movies like who really cares if this egg doesn't really have anything to do with the rest of the movie and then it just gets destroyed and then, then they don't really talk about the egg anymore and then the main object becomes like a star and not an egg and stuff like that like who really cares like all I want to see in James Bond is some really fun action, some really fun, fun characters, some really fun music, and I think that's what this movie gave me. So I kind of really disagree with these audience scores. I think people are being a little too critical with these James Bond movies. And you know, I just go into James Bond moves to, movies to have a good time, and Octopussy really delivered on that for me. Getting into the score of the movie now, uh, the score of this movie was fantastic. There was one piece of music in particular, and I wasn't sure if it was like the title theme becoming an instrumental or if it was something else but it was the moments whenever we had these very quiet scenes with Roger Moore and Maud Adams and they would just be like walking into each other's rooms or something like that or talking and the score behind it was so beautiful it was like a touch romantic but it was just it was just beautiful like I would listen to it all the time it was it was a great score it really captured the scene it captured like the mysticalness of where they were because they were on this like island full of women but it was also like a cult but also not a cult you know it kind of like captured the mystery of this island where James Bond was but at the same time it can't it captured like the romantic nature of the sequence as well and it just kind of it just kind of made me very happy it was a, just a really nice piece of music overall and then of course the James Bond theme song played so much during this movie and I'm so happy I can never get enough of the James Bond sequence and sometimes I'm like they overuse it and they oh they used it a lot in this movie like almost every action sequence had the James Bond theme in it there was even someone at the start of the movie I think it was VJ and he played he played the James Bond theme song on camera in the James Bond world so that James Bond now uh, it's canon that James Bond knows he has his own theme song <laughs> but yeah they played it a lot in this movie but honestly I didn't mind I thought it really helped with the action sequences like th some of the action sequences again my issues with the last movie with the action sequences still kind of carries over to this one it doesn't feel like there was too much like kineticness with the action and stuff like that but I thought the action was better in this one than in For Your Eyes Only and yeah I thought the James Bond theme song was one of the reasons why because 
because in For Your Eyes Only, there were definitely some action sequences where there was just no music at all. It was just like letting the scene play out and all this quietness and all and all you could hear was the sequence effects, which is fine in some cases, but in order to make that really work, you need to have a very kinetic camera and the way that the director of this movie, of Octopussy, and the way that the director, John Glenn, films his action isn't really suited to action without music just because the camera work. If there's no music, something else has to carry a sequence more so because you're missing a piece, you know, you're missing the, the auditory experience. So you have to kind of pick it up with a visual experience and John Glenn's visual experience in the action isn't as good as other films. So it doesn't work as well. So you really need good music. And so the Bond film, the Bond music just playing throughout all of the action sequences is just an easy way out because it just works so well because it's so much fun and it's so exciting and it just pumps your adrenaline and it just fits action perfectly. So I thought that all of the action sequences with the Bond music were really, really fun. Getting into the action sequences now, I thought the hand-to-hand Hand combat was a little bit better. I thought there was definitely a little bit more kineticness and you know they were just like the takes just felt a little bit more like grounded. You know the camera was moving a little bit more like there was a moment where Bond kind of comes into a window and the camera pans and then you get these people here and then it just, like tracks them following. You know like there was definitely more movement with the camera. It felt like John Glenn had a better control on the action. I thought the choreography was pretty good but I mean that's not really the action I want to talk about. Like the hand-to-hand -hand combat I thought was fine. It wasn't the greatest we've seen in a James Bond movie. It wasn't the worst we've seen in a James Bond movie, but the stuff that I really loved were the two big action sequences, or not even the action sequences, just the two big stunts in this movie, and they were incredible stunts, and they will be the reasons of why I will be remembering this movie over kind of others because in a lot of James movie James Bond movies you remember them with moments because they are fairly similar like especially after watching one a week some of them start to blend in at least for me but the way I remember them is usually with like the action sequences or like there's like one big stunt and like oh yeah that was the movie with this stunt or that was the movie with this stunt and Octopussy has two of those stunts which I will remember one of them being the train sequence which was amazing one of them being the plane sequence which was even cool cooler than the train sequence, which I didn't think was going to happen because I was anticipating James Bond to be on top of a train and I was really hoping and never expected him to be riding a horse, jumping onto a plane and then flying into the sky on top of the roof of a plane and then fighting someone on the roof of a plane in the sky. Just how? How, how how can you make James Bond even cooler than that moment right there? But yeah, I just like, I've never really done this in a James Bond movie before, but just like props to the stunt team, props to the stunt team. Like the stunts in this movie were incredible. The train, like seeing someone hang off the side of a train as it is moving and see someone run on the roof of a train is, is incredible. It's so much fun to watch. It's adrenaline pumping and stuff like that, but it's also very dangerous. So like props to the stunt team for that, especially a movie in 1983. I don't know how good the safety precautions were back then probably fairly decent because this was a very big budget movie but still probably a very dangerous stunt and like in every James Bond movie the stunt teams deserve a round of applause because in every James Bond movie the stunts are incredible but this was the one where I was really like wow like they are actually doing stuff like there were definitely moments in other movies like in one of the movies they were parachuting like they someone actually like jumping out of a plane and you got the cameraman jumping out of a plane kind of like a Mission Impossible 6 one of my favorite movies and you get the camera guy just following them as they're skydiving down like these stunts that are you can just see are real are so cool and there are two of them in this movie and then the plane sequence the plane sequence was actually out of this world i don't know how they thought of it i don't know why they thought of it but for a movie made in 1983 i, th I think that was probably the coolest stunt i've seen from a movie from like the 70s and the 80s and stuff like that like it was just mind-boggling to watch like the amount of effort that was probably put into that stunt the cameras that were mounted on the planes in different aspects so you could really see how far everyone was from the ground you could see the planes movement and stuff like that you could see the stunt double in James Bond's outfit just hanging onto the plane the wind just blasting into his face the wide shots you could see how small he was compared to how big the earth is below and stuff like that like they were just incredible stunts they were so much fun to watch and just again props to stunt team for that prompts to the action coordinator whoever whoever took charge of those stunts and whoever did those stunts it was just it was so much fun and I think that was that I think that plane stunt especially from when he's on the horse charges the horse you know the horse runs as fast as the plane he jumps off the horse onto the plane the plane flies up until the plane crashes I think that 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 is the reason why I will remember this movie I also really like the setting 
I, I don't have too much to say about the setting, but I did really like the setting. I really liked the, the India setting. It's some, somewhere we haven't been in the James Bond movies before. I like it when James Bond movies branch out and go places that we've never been in, especially because there's been so many movies. It's getting harder and harder. I guess there are like 200 countries or something like that, so... It's not too hard to go to, to just to, to just go to a different country, but you know, like areas of the world. James Bond has been to most of the areas of the world now, but India wasn't one of them for some reason. And India is a very, very big place. So it was really cool to go to India and see all like these colors, see the culture and stuff like that. I don't know how well the culture was portrayed, probably not the best, but I really did enjoy it. It was a very unique setting. It was very fresh from the more American or London settings that we've got in, or even not even American London, just like Europe. European settings that we've got in. It's nice when James Bond goes outside of Europe or outside of America and goes to some other place, you know, because it's just it's just kind of like a breath of fresh air and this whole movie felt like a breath of fresh air from the European setting. And yeah, let's get into the cast now. I'm just going to talk about Roger Moore, Maude Adams, Christina Wayborn, and Louis Jordan. Louis or Louis? I want to say Louis because I like the sound of Louis better, but it could be Louis. So Louis or Louis Jordan as Kamal Khan. I really enjoyed him as a villain. Like, not gonna lie, I actually really, really enjoyed him as a villain. I know he didn't do too much and he was like, he just kind of backstabbed Maude Adams' octopusy and then he was the bomb, like the bomb thing. And then he's like, no, I didn't actually backstab you. But then he I was lying and then he tried to kill octopusy and stuff like that. Like, I know he was a pretty like run of the mill villain, but I really enjoyed him. I don't know why. I just really liked the performance. I really liked the calm nature of the performance. It was kind of creepy. It was kind of unsettling, but it was just also a lot of fun. And I thought it fit the tone of this movie really well. And I thought Louis or Louis Jordan did a really good job. Christina Wayborn as Magda. I thought she was a fun Bond girl. I thought she was very, very pretty. And yeah, I like that she was fighting. You know, sometimes the Bond girls just don't fight. They just like stand there and watch James Bond fight. But I like that her, that she fought. And I like that all of the women fought in this movie as well. Like all of that cult people there was like that huge battle at the end and it was like the women versus like the men guards and stuff like that i really enjoyed that because in the james bond movies at least you don't necessarily see the women fight that often so when you do it's kind of a treat because it's like oh they're actually showing like women that are fighting you know it's kind of cool and i thought magda was just a really cool bond girl overall Maude adams is octopussy she was in the man with the golden gun i knew i recognized her face because as soon as i saw her i was like she's back but then i was like but what is she back from and i was like i'm pretty sure she was in a james bond movie but I'm not 100% sure, but Maude Adams is back. She was great in this movie as well. I loved her chemistry with, with just everyone in this movie. I think she's a great actress overall, and I thought that she was great with Roger Moore. Again, the romantic interest, it felt way more real in this movie, especially because of Maude Adams' age. She seemed more, or at least closer to age in Roger Moore than any of the other Bond, previous Bond girls before, which made the romantic interest a little bit more believable for me, because usually, because Roger Moore in these movies, what, he's like 50 years old or something like that, and the Bond girls are like probably mid 20s early 20s to mid 20s so the loved stuff it doesn't it's not as believable to me but when it's like an older woman like Maude Adams someone closer to Roger Moore's age the love and the romantic interest becomes more believable and so I actually bought the relationship between James Bond and Octopussy a lot more than a lot of the other Bond girl relationships which I thought was really fun and yeah last but not least Roger Moore he's a really really good James Bond I'm gonna be sad to see him go I think he might go next movie movie, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like, I think the next movie is his last movie, but I, I really enjoy Roger Moore, and honestly, I think I actually, like, I don't know, I don't know if I prefer him over Sean Connery. I, they both have very different interpretations, but I think overall, I'm enjoying Roger Moore's movies more than Sean Connery's, even though From Russia With Love is still my favorite of the James Bond movies. I think I've had more enjoyment in Roger Moore's era. I just really enjoy him as a James Bond. I think he's great and I kind of like that he's become less like he's definitely like the horny James Bond I think every, everyone can agree with that he he feels at least so far maybe someone is even hornier later on but I think he has become less horny over the course of these movies you know in the first movies he was just making out with every single woman he saw and it was like a make out fest a make out sequence you know and every single action sequence would end and he's just start making out with these women but in these movies he's not doing that as much and I kind of I really appreciate that you know I don't know why I appreciate that but I do and I think Roger Moore is a very good James Bond and I thought he was great in this movie as well and yeah that is my reaction and review to Octopussy the 1983 James Bond film thank you so much for watching and thank you 
you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. Uh, I forget what the next movie's called because I watched it at like 2 I finished this movie at like 2 a.m., so I don't really remember what the title was called. It was like A View to Kill or From A View to Kill or something like that. Like something like that. I haven't really heard of that James Bond movie before. I don't know anything about it, to be honest with you. And I, I thought the movie was called like View to Kill, but apparently it's like From A View to Kill or something like that. So I guess like I just absolutely know nothing about that. But I'm excited for it. You know, I think it's his last movie. And since I know nothing about it, I have no idea if it's supposed to be good or bad. This movie my dad likes and uh, people think it's bad. So even if I think it's supposed to be good or think a movie is supposed to be bad, that doesn't really matter because I could still like it more than other people or like it less than other people. Yeah, whatever. You guys, you guys understand what I'm saying. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next James Bond reaction.